Hey, Crafty Pieces, Angel Holt with Angel Holt Designs. I'm here to re do a... I've done this project before, and a lot of people said that they couldn't see what I was doing in that. And that was like three or four years ago when I was learning how to know how to position my camera and make sure that everyone sees what I'm doing. And it was my altered Pringles can. So I'm going to create this, and... Uh, Hopefully, everyone can understand and see it more clearly and everything because this is going to be like a little treasure box um, with the using a Pringles can. Now, one thing we're going to do, you're going to leave this on one side, you know, the, the metal bottom. So, we're going to make one cut and I'm going to make my Pringles can container. Um, six inches because that's just a standard so um, you can make it as long as the can or you can make it shorter so what you're going to do is you're going to go around and you're going to make marks all the way around the can at six inches Just like so. I don't know about everybody, boy, but it is cold up in Tennessee. Maybe it'll get cold enough and kill out some of these damn bugs that keep creeping back every summer. Alright, so there we go. So just kind of go through here and connect the lines like so there we go this is just to help uh, this is a cutting guide for you so just to help you out all right now what you're going to do is you're going to take utility knife or exacto knife whatever is your fancy and you're going to just cut along that line okay Now you can discard this or you can put the lid on it and use it for something but I am discarding it now you're just going to go around and just clean up the edges a little bit if you want a nice flat surface and the great way to tell is lay it on the table and you'll see where you're not even Just a smidgen right there. Perfect. Now it's flat. Okay. Good to go. All right. Now, um, in my last video, let me go grab a piece real quick. I thought I had a piece of my chipboard right here, but I do. So let me go grab a piece. Sorry about that. Okay. I always seem 
trying to uh, craft myself in such the smallest places. So now what you're going to do, make sure, huh, just a little bit more. I know, I'm tedious. Take the extra time to be tedious because your projects always come out better. You know. There we go. Okay, so basically what you're going to do, you're going to take the bottom, and I'm using a heavyweight cardstock. This is a very sturdy heavyweight cardstock, and you're going to draw a circle around like that, and you're going to cut this out. And try to be as close as possible when doing this circle because this is the other side. This is such a heavy cardstock, it's almost hard to cut with scissors. Okay. All right. Now we're going to lay it like that. As you can see, it's pretty good, pretty good, pretty good. Now, before I put this piece on, oh, I'm going to trim up just a little bit more. I know. As you go, you just see. There we go. Nice. Okay. All right. So, definitely make sure your can is clean. So, I'm just going to roughly I've cleaned it but I'm just going to make sure it's double clean you know it's clean okay so now you're going to figure out you're going to have to do like a little hatch okay so we've got to figure that out and um because you want it to close open and close so you're going to get your ruler back out push my cart away from me my tool cart okay so we have roughly a six inch um, opening uh, can here and I'm going to go in one inch on each side so you're going to mark it one inch and at five inches and then I'm going to probably, this is going to be a two inch width uh, flap. So you're going to go to each line and roll a little bit and then you're going to mark your two inches. Okay, so I'm going to connect the lines here. It's so hard to do it on a... There we go. And then I'm going to connect this line just roughly right there and then connect this one right there so we went in one inch on either side 
and then this is two inches. Okay, now you have an option. Now you can cut one side across the front, up the side, and then have it bent, or you can use uh, cut it completely out and then attach a closure to this piece and then to the can itself in two areas and it's a flappable um, open enclosure. So um, I had ordered some Tim Holtz stuff, some new Tim Holtz uh, closures and stuff and I was determining on using them but I have plans for those. So what I'm going to do is what I did in the video. And now be very careful because one side's going to be a little weaker than the other. So you got to be gentle. So I am just going to cut just like that. Then I'm going to be very careful. I'm going to cut right here. And go this way As you can see I'm holding it up to, against me so that I can have a little more control okay and then just hold it up against you and if you have to I would suggest scoring this area first and until you get down in there like that. Just like so. So now what you're going to do is carefully lift. Just start at the middle. Work your way down like this. Just Because you don't want to cause a big problem. And if you see that you need to open the area up a little bit wider, you can do so with scissors like that. Okay. And then now you have a flap open like that okay so if you want you can pinch that crease like that and then now you have a flap that you can um, open and close and this is pretty tough cardboard because it takes you know some wear and tear on it now I'm going to want to cover the inside of this along with that. So I pulled out some pink cardstock, and that's exactly what I'm going to start with. And this is a American Crafts um, pink cardstock. Um, and it's called Pale Rose. Pale Pale Rose. Okay, so I am going to start out with doing this. Take your can, roll it like that to the until the edges meet right there, and then you're going to give yourself a little registration mark, just like that. So at this point, this part needs to come off. Okay. First, I'm going to trim this little piece off here. Then here's my mark. Like that. 
So we're going to cut the length at six. Like that. All right. So now what we're going to do is we're going to roll it up, insert it into there. Okay, you can see there it has an overlap and I'm going to turn the overlap to the bottom of the box and then I'm going to make my registration mark right here. Okay. I'm going to pull that out and then I'm going to cut that section like that. There we go. Now we're going to put this back in. Like so. And see, it's not, you're not going to get, because it's going to leave a mark. So what I'm going to do now is just make a little mark there. And then I'm going to just cut it off. Cut it completely off. So just take a straight edge of anything. You have make a line and finish cutting it out. Like that. Okay. All right. So now what we're going to do is put it back in like that and as you see everything fits beautifully in there like that you see but we still got to cover that bottom and then we've got to cover our top so the first thing I'm going to do is cover the bottom before I slip this in. Okay, so we're just going to use the leftover cardstock and we're going to draw another circle. Like so. And you're probably going to have to do some tweaking. But you can do it. Okay, so now we can use the opening. Oh, yeah, we got to do some major tweaking. Major tweaking. So I'm going to do this and put this in the bottom and I will be right 
back. Okay. Okay, I'm back, and as you can see, I have installed uh, the bottom piece. Now, trick: you're probably gonna, you've got to know where to tape the two edges together so that you don't either tape them too tight or too loose. So to do that, you see the two edges here, like that, and you're going to put a registration mark right here, like this right there then you're going to turn it around and where this edge meets this you're going to put a registration mark right there so when you pull it out you know to take this tail and meet it up with that line like so and it meets up with that line. Now you're going to take it and you're going to turn it the other direction. Make sure you get it nice in there. And you're going to make the same marks. Okay. And that way you have a mark on either end and you can take it and butt it up and you'll have a perfect cylinder for the size of your can. Now before I install that you have to think about these rough edges here okay and I'm doing that first because I'm gonna hide I'm gonna show you how to do hide an area like that okay so you're going to get a piece of your paper, okay, and you're going to measure just basically hold it up there. I'm just eyeballing it, but you can use your, okay. So now what I want to do is I want to make a crease. And let me get my bone saw there. I have my little cart of tools over here. And I'm all organized and I never can find anything. How wonderful is that? Well, anything with a straight edge. We'll just use this little knife here. Use, use the flat end of a knife or whatever. Now. Then what you're going to do is you're going to slip it right in there and you're going to glue it on both ends and I'm going to use my um, score tape. Oh, wrong side. Where's my big score tape? Oh my gosh, why am I never or I swear I clean up and then I can't find a thing ever. Oh, do y'all get that? Oh, there it is. I got two different sizes. Lord, Lord, Lord. Oh, the madness. The madness. The madness. Okay, you can welcome to skip through the madness. So you're gonna put double-sided tape on both sides. I like score tape. I use it in all of my paper crafting always that and glossy accent okay then you're going to remove the tape and you're going to carefully slip that right in there and you're going to press all sides. Now, remember, you're not going to see this because we're going to cover the whole outside. So now we got to do this side and this side. So again, you're going to get you a piece of paper. I'm 
I'm saying the inside is going to take a full 12 by 12 sheet of paper. So, um, well, that's pretty good. <laughs> Might just trim it a little bit. Yeah, trim it just a little bit more. Okay. Again, you're going to fold in half. And don't assume that this side is the same as this side. As much as you measure, um, it probably will work, but I always measure both sides and make a separate thing thing for it. I always do so um, because sometimes trying to measure a cylinder is hard enough as it is. So and there you go. Again, you're going to remove. the tape just like a stove pull that back a little bit and you're gonna put that right at the crease and press and if you didn't scoot it up good enough you might be lucky, like myself here, and be able to reposition it just like that. This is the tricky one. Okay. And I'm not fussed about of it being, I just want to make sure that it's a clean pressed edge like that. Okay. Nice. There we go. Nice pressed edge. It may look wonky, but it's not wonky. Okay. So you're going to do the same thing on the other side. Okay, I want to trim. I'm going to just trim the hair off. I'm going to do a little bit more. Okay, again, you're going to fold. Like so, and I'm going to straighten this up just a little bit. Like that. Again, you're going to use tape. I know I got pieces everywhere. Just trim that away like that. And now just do what you did before. Slip that in, making sure that you have the crease correct, and then you're going to press into place like so. 
So now we have a nice clean edges for the box. Now we're going to do this. Oop, where my screen go? Now I'm going to trim this little snippet up. Now you're going to take and measure the inside just like that. Now this is a great time to straighten up your flap. As you can see, mine's a little wonky because it was just a, a wonky flap cut. <laughs> if you want to call it that. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is I'm going to straighten it up as much as I can. Here. All right. That looks good to me. So now what I'm going to do is glue tape the Hades out of it. You want to make sure you have adhesion on all edges. So you bring your tape all the way to the edge. All the way. And then you're just going to remove the tape. Just pull that back and then lift that and push that down. Pull that back. Push that down and then there you go. Now it's a very sticky. Now you're going to press it in. To play. So now when it's closed, it looks very nice because I straightened it up so this is a better edge. So when you put your cover, it's gonna cover all of those all of that raw edge there. So now what you can do at this point is take some ink, and this is just an ink dauber uh, from Prima Marketing, and you can ink up those edges real nicely. Pull that back. Ink up that edge. The inside. Also, go ahead and ink up those edges like that. Now it's time to put in this piece. Now remember, we made registration marks. Okay, so I am going to put one strip of tape, line it up with 
those lines there. I'm going to lift this off. And then I'm going to do another one right to the edge like that. Tear that off. And now I'm going to very carefully start with this and with that registration mark right there. As you can see, I'm going to butt it like that. Like so, go over here and do the same thing and then press, 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 press. And there is our cylinder for the inside. Now go ahead before you install it. Go ahead. I don't think they'll be seen, but just ink the edges on the inside of this. Go back and insert our, our hone or be very careful when doing it because you might hit what is it hitting again? Oh. It's hitting against something. What is it? Oh, that. Okay. All right. Nice, nice. So you're going to push it down into place. Now, this is where your liquid glue is going to come in handy. Get your glossy accents. And you see we have a raw edge right there you know because even though it's in there very well we're going to have to go in here take the no nose of your glue and go all the way around press and press and press do the same thing here you're going to lift it up and then do it like that and if you were to put tape and try to put that cylinder in there with it being very sticky it would be a very 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 hard process okay so now I have a beautiful flap that I have a, a lined box And everything so now what I'm going to do is just trim away the excess here so I can get yeah Ugh. awkward Okay. And we're almost done with this part. The next part is the fun part in decorating. I'm going to have to use my X Acto knife. Or a smaller pair of scissors. Oh, 
There we go. Nice. Trim as flush as you can. Okay, take your liquid glue and do the same thing, go all the way around like that and just press and hold. Like that. If you want, you can do this and put uh, paper clips or anything like that to hold it while you do this. So we'll put a paper clip here to hold it. Add a little more glue. Oh, I got a few paper clips left. Oh my gosh. Okay. Hold it. You've added glue there. So you're going to hold it and glue it's right there. So we're going to hold it. So you're going to let that kind of dry. Okay. So now let's go back to the bottom that's going to be covered. So basically you're going to do the same thing as you're just going to take your glue. And I'm using glossy accents. Like so. I'm making sure I'm getting those edges. The edges are the most important, no matter what. Spread that glue around and then you can just go wonky with it right there. Spread it around. Make sure you've got those edges beautifully. And then you're going to Press that down, hold it there, let it dry, and then you're going to cut that out, and then I will be right back. Okay, now uh, the bottom piece with the chipboard, it was covered. I put it on the, installed it, so everything is finished on the inside, and now it's time to decorate. And I'm going to be using uh, pieces of paper from the new Winter Wishes collection by Bo Bunny. And uh, so the video is going to speed up a little bit because it's pretty self-explanatory. You know, you're just going to cover and cut where you need to cut. And then we'll get into some more decorating. And I'm using this piece of this winter wood. I really like that. So um, let's get started.
Okay, what you're going to have to do on this side, you know, we had to create a, a side on this. But if you bend these down, you're going to have a dip and it's going to be uneven. So you've got to use the same amount of chipboard and it's already got hot glue on it. And then you're going to lay it down. And now when you put glue the paper down on top of it like that, everything is even. Steven, everything is, uh, there is no dip that it would. So you're going to have to put chipboard on either side. And you can glue these down with uh, double-sided tape, uh, liquid glue, or hot glue. And I'm going to use hot glue. And then uh, I'll show you the process of how I'm going to decorate the rest Ooh, of the box awesome. and how I'm going to decorate uh, this lid. So let's get started. Mm -hmm. I changed the paper up as to what I want I uh, wanted to do because it didn't do what I wanted to do so I showed you how to do it even though we had done the edges uh, before um, 
it doesn't matter because and then because I've done the edges again over into there so it just makes it that much more sturdier um, and it was easier for me to apply the uh, paper trust me it's been about three years since I've done this so I had to like okay remember how I did it now for the lid here I'm just going to use a piece of cardstock and what I want to do is kind of make a bigger not too big but just a, a little bit bigger uh, flap so I'm going over the edge here and I'm sure there are 50 million other easy ways to do this I'm not claiming my way is perfect by any means so I'm just going to make sure I'm setting on I'll tell you what I'm going to use a, a little piece of tape because it's going to have I'm going to have to it's going to have to stay still when you work with a rounded surface you can easily um, mess it up so now what I'm going to do is lay this down and I'm going to mark about an eighth of an inch wider than the flap and you'll see why in a minute I want to see if I can fold this over and make this trim off. I'm playing right now. I probably won't do this. I'm just playing because I'm curious if I can do this. You know how we all are curious. Curious that and curious that. So I'm going to cut down to those points like that. Then I'm going to flip this over like so going to trim just a little bit there we go that's a nice, 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 nice flap. Okay. So now what we're going to do is we're going to snip those off. We're going to snip this one off. We're going to lift this back up. And then we're going to fold over that edge like that and then I'm going to cut these little lips at an angle like that see what I'm doing here I'm cutting it straight just like that so now I can lay that down like that give me some tape 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 I hope y'all are seeing this Okay, you see what have we done? We put the paper on the back, then we folded it over into here. Now I cut the flap and I cut the, the tails off the flap and now what I'm doing is gluing this flap down like so. I'm reinforcing um, this so we're going to do it again on this side so 
what we're going to do is we're going to cut, wait a minute, yep, I'm going to cut to this corner, and then I'm going to cut to that corner, and they don't have to be the same on both sides, just as long as the fold is like that. See what I've done? I cut right here, and then folding it over, putting some more tape like that, and we're going to lift that tape up. Let's see if y'all can see what I'm doing here. We're going to lift the tape up. And then we're going to fold this one over like that. Make sure you have a good crease. And now we're going to put tape here and here. Okay. We're going to put tape there. And then we're going to put it right there. And then a little more. Okay, so we're going to remove the tape right there. And then I'm going to put a piece right there. Like so. And then I'm going to put another piece. right down the middle. I make sure everything is extra tight and here, you know, good adhesion um, because you don't want this to come apart. It's like a, a really good trinket box. So now what we're going to do is just simply fold that over like so and bam. You have a beautiful little trinket lid. Now what you can do is just trim up the side there. See how I have a little lap, little lap there? I'm just going to trim up the side just like that. There we go. Now, don't worry about this right here, we're going to put something there to um, hide that, just like I did on the other one. Also, we're going to put something along the edge here, but that is so far, piece of paper in there, that is so far a very sturdy trinket box. So I'm going to go uh, find me a closure and find me some trims and we're going to start decorating um, this little box.
okay, you saw me add the closure, and I took the same flat back pearl trim that I did on the sides. I also done it around the lid. I also used that Nuvu uh, embellishment mousse, and this color is called, uh, da, 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 I think it's, uh, what is this color called? Mother of Pearl very beautiful and it just made it look frosty on the metal work the metal uh, closure uh, out of my personal sash um, now what I'm going to do in fact is for these holes here you see I pulled out some pink pearls in various sizes that I have and I'm going to see yeah I'm going to use that size and um, so I need six. And I'm going to use my glossy accents um, to get these. Four, five, and six. All right. So pull out the glossy accents. And... You're just going to fill the hole. Ooh. And just put some around the edge of the hole as well. And just lay it down like that. I wet the tip of my finger. Because I cannot find my pick it up tool. So, got to improvise. Improvise. I'm hoping everyone was able to see the process. Um, because, you know, it's... When you get to start, when you get to doing it, um, it's pretty self-explanatory. I mean, you, you know, you got to cover your bases and everything and cover the outside ever how you want it. You don't have to cover it with paper. You can cover it in um, fabric. You can paint it. You can decoupage on it. Like decoupage strips of paper on it and stuff like that. Only need it. You know, there's one down there but I am not going to put it down there because the closure wouldn't close. So five is enough. Um, so now what I'm going to do is add uh, feet and I'm going to you are you cold my chaos freezing see what what is the heat set on I don't know I just everybody is cold I today can't, I can't throw my toes like you I put always, socks on yeah sorry y'all that's my daughter uh, she's freezing it's freezing everywhere everybody's it's cold so cold outside I had to wait for the bus for like 30 minutes outside mm -hmm. are you crazy <sighs> okay you're going okay. Uh, go see what the heat set on. Do you know how to start the uh the fire? No. Okay. Anyway, what we're gonna do? Uh, these are about eight millimeter, and I'm just gonna put a dollop of glue on here, and I'm going to put one right there. Press it down, kind of twist it as you go, let it dry, and then I'm going to take my ruler and that's about four inches. That was a pretty good guessing right there. Oh, snaps for me. So you're going to go in about an inch on each side like we did on the lid and you're going to put your next pearl. Oh, here's my ink pen. Sorry, y'all. So I'm just going to make a little dot there. Now what I'm going to do as well is just roll it. We'll see where we can put the other ones. I'm not going to roll it quite yet. Okay. So again, just put a dollop of glue. Now you can use E6000 
if you want. Um, so there we go. Okay, so we're going to let that dry a moment. Just press it down. Like so. Okay, so now I'm going to roll and just kind of put one right there. And you're going to have to hold it. And if you mess up on placement, I will um, show you how you can fix it. And I'm doing it at about an inch apart. Yeah. About an inch apart. Like that. All right, put them up for us, fill them. I am notorious for spilling stuff. Okay. Then we're going to do this one. Okay. Thing off before it starts. Okay. Actually, oh, there it goes. that was Karen. Her uh, the craft chat went live. <laughs> okay, so there we go. Now it sets beautifully, like so, on the little feet. I want to make sure. Uh, I know it's throwing it off. It's actually, it's very well spaced. It's the pattern throwing off. As you see, it throws it off. Makes it think it's crooked, but it's not. It's this pattern. So to fix that, I'm going to decorate that area. Because it will drive me crazy. <laughs> so I'm going to pull out some decorations and everything. And uh, you'll watch me finish up uh, this project. Okay, I had to make an adjustment, and um, what I wanted to do is um, I took the I took the big ball feet off because let's see how can I show you this sits because you need to have it here. This is okay. All right, I put two pearls on the front, so if when the when the container rolls, it'll rolled to the front so you only need actually two feet so you can just go like this so and there you go and it'll sit perfectly like that on a table or anything so um, I went down smaller to about a five or six millimeter uh, millimeter pearl and I only put it at the front and again one inch from each side and they are four inches apart and from the closure or the the opening they are two and a half inches uh, from the opening so wherever you put your opening you want to put your foot two and a half inches down and glue them down like that so i wanted to share that quick little tidbit with you before i got to decorating so isn't it cute see it just rolls oh okay there we go <laughs> just rolls perfectly so um, I picked out some um, little uh, picks here for Christmas and everything and uh, put a few flowers on there I thought would be cute and just decorated up and I'm using the bow bunny uh, winter's wishes collection absolutely love that collection and um, gonna put a pretty bow and everything and uh, then we'll be done so uh, I'm going to finish up and I'll see you in just a few.
Okay, ladies, that's it. There's the end. That is how you can make an altered um, Pringles can into like a little treasure box. And uh, just a very, very sweet little gift you can put in there and put treasures in. And uh, I used stickles on the characters, the little girls on the front. And I used that Aline Snow to make their collars more snowy and three dimensional. I don't know if you can tell. Yeah, right there. And uh, the little plastic snowflakes come from Wild Orchid Crafts. Um, this is just some pink tool. And this sticker was also in the Bow Bunny collection. These are bought, uh, these are like little pink ornaments that I purchased last year at Hobby Lobby. And uh, again, I explained the difference between the feet because uh, I wanted it different. Um, but other than that, y'all, that is it. The snow paper snowflakes were also from the Bow Bunny collection. And uh, it's a very beautiful, beautiful collection. And it is called w Christmas Wishes. No, Winter Wishes. Excuse me, Winter Wishes. So uh, make a couple of these for gifts as a quick starter or anything and give it to them. And put something fabulous inside like a gift card or money or something. And also they get a beautiful gift too. So um, thank you all for watching and please stay for photos. And uh, I will see y'all Saturday night live. Um, cause I'm going to be teaching you something super fun and very, very Christmas. So see you then. Bye-bye.